Hey ya and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. Today I would like to introduce you to the new April Fools event. This is a new event in Neverwinter and it involves PvP with chickens. In this event, however, there are a few rewards which you can receive. You can receive the new chicken mount. It's just a green mount and you, you'd get it just for the looks and kind of the derpiness of it. You can get to different uh, vanity pets and also the ability to turn your stuff into a chicken. There are these seeds which you will use to complete quests if you don't wish to do the PvP. And there's also this food you can get, the best food being the seed bread. It's very similar to the watermelon, however it gives defense instead of accuracy. Seed bread gives just as much power as the watermelon. Alright, so I'm not going to go over the whole event kind of thing and doing the questing. However, to do your questing, you can find chickens spread throughout Protector's Enclave and you can complete the quests that way. However, a much funner way to complete the quests is to actually queue up for the PvP. So generally, you would queue up in your public queue, you'd go to your player versus player, and you'd click on the Fight of the Fowls and you'd join the queue there. It should pop fairly quickly as a lot of people are doing this. However, I'm going to queue in private just so I can show you guys the mechanics of each of these chickens. Okay, so when you first enter the arena, you will get polymorphed into a chicken. While in chicken form, you will have a complete different set of powers than you would have when you're playing your class. It's completely not class dependent, so it won't matter what character you're playing. Also, you can see your stats will be decreased to zero. You will have a given set of stats, and it will be the same for everybody who's playing. However, the HP, you can see here, it's 20 on this chicken, will vary between chicken and chicken. So, the chicken I currently am is the basic chicken. Basically, I have my double peck, I'll do 2 damage, and I have take flight. I think every chicken has take flight, basically increases your speed by 60%. Then you have squabble ability, basically you'll decrease the enemy's damage by 1 for 5 seconds. Then you have your roost you'll basically increase the damage of your double pack for 5 seconds, increasing it up to 3. And then you have your daily, basically. It will allow you to get out of a fight much quicker, increasing your speed by 30% for 10 seconds. So then we have our Bok Blocker. Basically, this is kind of like the defense chicken. And with this chicken, you'll have a pack ability, so you'll have lower damage on your Atwell than other chickens do. This one only does one damage. Then you have the same similar flight as every other chicken. Then you have a rush, does two damage at, within the range. You can target somebody within 20 feet and you'll rush at them and deal two damage. It's great for like finishing off targets or basically getting in somebody's face nice and quickly and you'll decrease their, their speed basically. Then you have Bird Bastion. It's great for defense, especially against the normal chickens, the chickens that don't have a great hat will. You'll basically decrease the damage that you take by two. So let's say they hit you with their at will. They'll basically do no damage to you. Then we have our daily power, which is great. Basically, you'll increase your HP by 10, giving you kind of a shield for 10 HP. And it'll also give this shield to everybody around you, every ally around you who's in within 30 feet of you. This is great for when you're defending a node or even taking over a node with a whole group of people and you're just going to overrun them. So now we'll move on to the healer hand. Basically this one is like the, the healer. So we basically have our pack, same as the blocker chicken. Basically you do one damage per hit. Then we have flight, same as all the others, increasing your speed. And then we have our encounter powers. So Q is like our, our heal. Basically you'll heal for six health, but this will be divided among all the other chickens that are within the radius, which is uh, 10, which is this one. Basically, it's 10 foot uh, radius. Then we have our food frenzy. Basically, you scatter food everywhere, increasing the damage of all allied chickens by one for five seconds. Then we have our daily, which is in a clutch. Basically, you'll heal all allied chickens for 10 health within 30 feet. Fairly similar to the block blocker daily. Then we have our fire chicken, a fire ranged chicken, as the name 
specifies, you'll be able to shoot people at range. So if we have our paralyzing peck. This one is unique to all the others. You basically you'll peck somebody, and there's you'll only do one damage, but there's a 15% chance that you would stun them for two seconds. This is the only stun effect that the chickens have, and it's great ability, especially when you stun them, and then your whole team just gang up on them because they can't move. So you can just peck the bits out of them. Then we have our flight, sends everyone out, 60% movement speed. Then we have our fire seed. This is our ranged ability. You basically spit a fiery seed at your target, dealing three total damage. Then we have our fiery flea. Basically will increase your speed by 30% and you'll also create this fire on the ground. This fire, when an enemy stands in it, will take one damage. It's great for when you're defending a node and you basically don't want the enemy to take, take it over or you use it as kind of a barrier between you and your enemy so they'll have to go through the fire to get you. So then we have our daily. Our daily is kind of like um, a suicide kind of thing. Basically, you'll do five damage to you and all enemy chickens within 30 feet. It's great for finishing off like a whole bunch of guys if you're on a node you're trying to defend it and there's like five chickens there and they're all on like three or two hp you can just hit this and boom you'll kill them all however if you don't be careful and you're at five hp or lower you'll kill yourself too so finally we have our sneaky scratcher this is basically like the the, the rogue uh, chicken you basically you can go invisible so we have the double pack dealing two damage then we have flight and then we have clutch, cluck and cover. Basically, you'll go into stealth for five seconds and increase the damage of your double peck by two. Basically, you'll do four damage on your at will. So you'll you'll turn invisible, so you'll be like this. Nobody else will be able to see you. However, as soon as you attack, you'll break this stealth effect. Then with our E, we have bombshells. You basically drop uh, eggs all around you, dealing two damage. In kind of a radius around you it's great especially for finishing off targets that are trying to run away from you or just running around you has got a quite small range of 13 feet our daily is rather underwhelming you basically you'll enter unbreakable stealth for 10 seconds so if you attack while under this effect you won't they won't be able to attack you back however if they attack in your direction and where you are they'll still be able to hit you and you're damage on your block ability will be reduced to one so you won't do much damage i tend to just generally use it when you're trying to run away and somebody's trying to kill you so the chicken i find the most easiest as the dps chicken is definitely the fire chicken so let's go ahead and jump into a game so you just enter the queue there make sure you put it on public you can invite a whole group of friends to your crew queue group and you can all join up and play together so I've joined up with some guild mates and I've chosen to be the fire ranged chicken. For now you just wait for all the other players to log in and then you'll get a countdown and the gate will pull down and you'll be able to rush. So in this game mode of PvP you have three nodes. These three nodes, as soon as your team has taken over one of them and as long as there's no enemy on the node that's capping it, you will receive points over time. The team that reaches, I believe it's 700 points in this game mode, wins. You can see me here now just chasing down these chickens to get the kill. I'm a DPS chicken, so my duty is yeah, to just kill the enemy so that they can't cap our nodes. However, you want to make sure you have at least two of the nodes for you to actually win the game. So, once you have two nodes, then your other nodes aren't being threatened like ours are now you can see on the right side of the screen there however now the middle node is being contested so we're just going to take over this node real quick and then we'll move to the middle node to try and take it back i see that my comrades are doing a great job of taking over that node back there so i rush back to the middle node make sure it's not taken over this is generally the basics of PvP, and playing this will give you a gist of how to actually play the normal PvP. However, this PvP is great since everybody's put on a level playing field, and it's more about skill 
than just having maxed out enchantments and legendary insignias and legendary mounts and all that kind of stuff which costs a ton to invest in your character so it's much easier in this game mode to learn how to actually play pvp i think it's a great thing that they added this to the game even though it's just a short event i would definitely like to see something of this more on a permanent basis especially for pvp in general perhaps balance the classes out so everybody would have the same stats and you'd have your variety of encounter powers but i just love this so this is just this is great fun and it's hilarious that they are all chickens so the match continues I continue to kill other chickens and flee like a chicken whenever I'm low in HP. You can see I run up this kind of onto this bridge here. Either end of the bridge these potions will spawn. You can see right here I found one. It will heal you for one uh, HP point or I believe it's 10 seconds to a total of 10 HP. And you'll just want to use those as soon as you're low on HP. There are also two more potions that will spawn one below the the one node and one below the three node however when somebody picks it up it will also disappear for you so you'll have to be wary of so if you're first starting out i would generally just go with either the heal chicken for survivability but you won't be killing anybody or take this fire range chicken and ha just have fun sniping people and running the hell away when you're low in hp all right so hopefully this explains the basics of the mechanics of this this chicken pvp don't take things too seriously just have fun and enjoy the event while it's there so i'll head off now and hope you enjoy and we'll see you in the next one